The debate surrounding abortions has grown louder in the U.S. since the striking down of Roe v. Wade. According to the Guttmacher Institute, medication abortions accounted for about 54% of all abortions in the U.S. Medication abortions were first approved by the FDA in 2000 and have since become the most common form of abortion. Since 2016, medication abortions, or the abortion pill, have consisted of mifepristone and mesoprostol. The FDA has approved the abortion pill up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. A patient seeking an abortion first takes mifepristone, which stops the pregnancy from growing. Mifepristone works by blocking the hormone progesterone, which is needed for the pregnancy to grow. The patient then takes mesoprostol up to 48 hours later, which begins the process of emptying the uterus. Mesoprostol can cause cramping and bleeding that may be heavier than a period or similar to an early miscarriage. Depending on how and when taken, medication abortions can be more than 95% effective. Medication abortions have been proven to be safe and effective according to the FDA, but there can be some serious yet uncommon side effects. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.